that Ross Schaefer, the name of the book is Are You Relevant? Despite all this technology and changes, it still boils down to, and that was one of your previous books, Customer Service. You still got to deal with one-on-one with a customer, whether it's on the phone or on the internet or whatever, but it still comes down to that one-on-one with your customer, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. It is customer service, but more importantly, to pinpoint it, it is com- customer empathy. Customers today are so confused, they are uh, so inundated with all of the complexities of their own lives that they are scared, they are vulnerable, they are uh, out of class, they get embarrassed easily, and they're looking for trusted advisors who understand their perspective. Anybody who's ever purchased a property now has to look through 112 pages of documents in some language you will never understand. And that is uh, such a vulnerable touch point uh, for customers. The only customers who matter are women. Women spend $7 trillion a year. They comprise 84% of all consumer purchasing. And if you ignore women, you will die. <laughs> because they, uh, they are too powerful, and they're only going to get more powerful. Because $15 trillion is going to land in the hands of baby boomer women by 2015. Because the guys will die. Mm, interesting. I didn't know the statistic was that much. That's incredible. Focus on the women. Women matter most. And the men will follow. Kind of goes back to the Adam and Eve. <laughs> it does. You know those old cliches like uh, 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 happy life, happy wife? Yes. Uh, if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. You know those old cliches are really, really true. Pl- applies to the business world as well as the family world. That's, 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 uh, that's a great yeah, way to go. That, that's, a good, that's a good point. <laughs> the the uh, customers don't differentiate between a personal relationship and a business relationship. They only have one barometer. They only have one set of descriptors that they use, uh, whether they're dealing with somebody in business or, so, or a personal relationship. Unfortunately, people in business make that mistake. Well, it's great information in the book. It's called Are You Relevant? Ross Schaefer is our guest, and uh, you can pick it up, uh, I'm sure, at all the book sites and uh, Ross Schaefer's website. is RossSchaefer.com, right, Ross? It's, it's RossSchaefer.com, and I'll, and I'll say there, there's a lot of free stuff they can download there, Doug. Before I let you go, i got to ask you a quick question or two. You, you're a former uh, warrior in the late-night TV wars. Uh, what do you think's the status right now with uh, what's going on late night? And, of course, with Jay Leno moving to uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, is that a good move in your I, opinion? I talked to uh, Jay about a month ago, six weeks ago, maybe. And I asked him, what do you think about that move? Jay's attitude has never changed since the, that, that show uh, in 1992, I believe it was. Right. Uh, and that is, I just uh, write the jokes. They tell me how to tell the jokes. I just go to stand over there and tell the jokes. <laughs> I, I get the impression no, that no, we all care more about Jay's career in television than he does. <laughs> as a strip show five nights a week, and as good as Jay is, as great as Johnny was, I don't think Johnny would have succeeded five nights a week at 10 o'clock. I think it's just too much at that hour. It, there, it's a very difficult time for you, as you know. And to do a, a comedy slash talk show like he's something to do, which won't look a whole lot different than the other night show that he hosted uh, for 16 years, it's going to be... Uh, it will probably be, be difficult, but he does bring an audience and a lead-in that will help Conan. And Conan has been struggling in his ratings. Yeah. He, he has not been able to match the Tonight Show ratings uh, as Jay did. might dilute the Tonight Show, wouldn't you think? I mean, if the, the, the big guest is on the Jay, why would you stay up later to watch Conan? I just wondered if that was in their thinking. I guess it wasn't. Oh, you, but... read, you, you read my mind. You really want a two-hour Tonight Show. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Yeah, and it, was, it was merely a cost-saving device for NBC yeah. because they couldn't afford that CSI, uh, you know, night after night after night. It's going to be interesting to see what happens, and uh, I, I think what may happen down the road, you'll see, well, maybe they'll cut them back to four nights because they'll have a big show they want to try. I, th- I think that may be, or maybe three nights a week, but uh, that's just the speculation. I have no inside information, but that's just my guess. I don't think he's going to be able to last five nights a week at 10 o'clock. I, I think he'll be able to come up with the material. It, it'll just be up to the audience. It's right. Really- like to see that at, at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, in the meantime, Jay collects about double the paycheck from that time period, and, and you know, uh, you probably know this, but he's never spent a dime on uh, right. uh, television money. <laughs> he said he put all that in the bank, he lived off his stand-up money, right? Stand-up money is how he's uh, bought his home, car, everything else. And, and they have no kids either, you know, so somebody's going to get a nice <laughs> inheritance, I don't know. <laughs> I, it, it probably will not be us. No, I guess not. <laughs> Well, Ross, it's always great to catch up with you. I know you, you're traveling around a lot. If you make your way down to uh, Florida, please let us know. I'd love to have you back on again to, in person, maybe in studio, or at least let people know where you're going to be. I'd love to do that, Doug. And I also uh, I, I have to plug uh, you for, on Facebook. You're a tremendous Facebooker, and for people who, who uh, want to follow your show or happen to miss it, to go on Facebook, you, you do a great job of your postings and letting people know who you're interviewing. So it's, uh, uh, your cat.
captivating this, this new media. You're relevant. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I figured, well, let me get in. I was going to avoid that because I didn't want to be one of those people that says, well, I'm just going to the store today. But I figured, let's, let's use it for a business purpose, and it, it seems to help. So uh, I think that's the, the point uh, of it. It's, it's, I think that's right. And I think uh, that all of social media, if you can make it interesting, people will read it. Yeah. And so that's what you're doing. Great. Great. Right, I appreciate that. Well, Ross, uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. We'll make it a year and a half next time. But again, the Are You Relevant is the name of the book. Ross Shaper's been our guest. And uh, Ross, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Doug.